guys. Today I wanted to make a video to show how I draw urine culture for my super pubic catheter to check on whether I have UTI. Right now, I pretty much know for almost 100% certain that I have UTI because of the amount of pain I'm in, because of what my catheter bag looks like, although it's just been emptied so you can't really tell. But I have it clamped off in two different spots. And we're going to attempt to draw urine out of the catheter bag right now. And see if we've had it clamped off long enough. And if we have, we're going to be able to draw a urine sample. And then that's going to go to the lab. And I'll get preliminary results to give me your analysis. And then, do you have a no supplies? Yeah. We're gonna have can you move over? Then we're gonna have a preliminary result on how fast on whether I have a urine culture a urinary tract and tract infection or not. If I do have a clean UA, it probably means I don't have a urinary tract infection, but I highly doubt that. I had a high white blood cell count in my labs yesterday, and my bladder is killing me. I've had huge chunks in my urine. Do you have alcohol prep? Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to alcohol prep the site, which is this site right here that we're going to draw the urine out of. So I alcohol prep it really well all around, and then I'm not going to touch it with my hands at all. I'm going to have my caregiver open the syringes so that I can get the urine out. Because right now I have a PCA, not a nurse with me. She can't actually draw the blood. So I'll, or not the blood, the urine. So I draw the urine up. Hold on. Let's try this again. I twist the syringe into here. Lower, lower it down a little bit. Start drawing back. Urine's coming up. Yeah, urine's coming up. It's really cloudy. I want to squirt this in a cup. I just can't let the syringe touch the cup or anything else because then it'll be contaminated. All right, I'm going to go back in for some more urine. Okay, you touched it in for some more urine. I'm going to drop some more urine. Still really cloudy. I see a bunch of floaties in here. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of floaties in here. A lot of pus. Probably gonna go in for one more syringe full. The more they have, the better, because then they can work with it. Although I think my urine supply is running dry. Do you think that's enough? Oh, yeah, honey. Definitely. You've got a ton of floaties like you like to get to. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think my urine supply ran dry. That was about all I had in me. So we're going to close up the urine cup. This is the urine cup. You can that. see how cloudy it is. And you can sort of see all the floaties in it. It's just really cloudy. So we're going to get it. I'm going to put this down right here. And then I'm, I'm going to undo the clamp. This is the first clamp I undo. And then when I undo the second clamp, I'm going to get a rush of urine come out. 
Um, you got this back in the bag? Yeah. I'm going to undo this one. It's going to give me a rush of urine out. It's going to give me a whole bunch of bladder spasms. It's not going to feel good. It's already not feeling good. Because this and that, because this clamp and that clamp were blocking off my urine flow. So right now I'm getting spasms in my bladder. And they're pretty painful. But they're slowing down. I'm going to give this urine to Grace. She's going to write my information on it. And then after um, my other care caregiver gets here, on our way to my doctor's appointment, we're going to drop it off at the lab so they can run it and see what kind of cultures it grows back so they know what antibiotic to put me on and also see if I do a BTI, which I know I do. I can recognize the symptoms at this point. So she'll be bring to the lab by the next couple hours of our results. And in the next couple of days, I'll know what antibiotic I need. I'll get put on it. Unfortunately, what usually happens is I get put on an antibiotic for seven to 10 days. And then I get another infection before the seven to 10 days is over. A lot of times I get an infection that's bacterial. It wipes out all the good and bad bacteria. So then the good bacteria that were fighting my good fungus get wiped out and I end up with fungal infection. So I get treated for the fungal infection and the good fungus that were protecting me from bad bacteria get wiped out. So I get a bacterial infection, which wipes out the good fungus. So I get a fungal infection and it continues on in a never ending cycle. I don't know what we're going to do. It's really scary. It's one of the reasons I've been, I've been needing terminal. That and the fact that the infections travel to my heart. They travel to my central line. I'm quickly running out of IV antibiotics they can use on me. Um, the whole thing is really scary. But anyway, that's how we do our urine culture routine. I gotta fly now to finish the rest of my routine so I can make it to my doctor's appointment and drop up that urine. Thanks for watching guys as usual. See you next time.